friends it's Amanda here and today we're doing a little what's new at the drugstore haul slash try on video as you can see I don't have any makeup on right now I thought we would just dive into this little box of goodies and I'll try everything on while I show you what I picked up so I'm starting with this little sweet lips mask and lip balm from Lottie London I've never tried anything from this brand at all ever but it was in the new section on the Ulta site. This is a collection of two different Ulta orders that I've made over the past several weeks. So I'm sure you'll see some of this stuff and you'll be like, that's not really new, that's been around for a while. Well, it's, it's new to me. First impression, this is just kind of okay for me. I love lip balm, so sometimes I think it can be a little bit extra harsh on it, but this doesn't really seem like anything special. I mean, it's fine. It's a lip balm. It's it's called Just Juicy. It doesn't really seem that juicy to me, but it's fine, whatever. Now I have some new complexion products from NYX. First is this Marshmallow Primer. I feel like I've seen a lot of people talking about this on Instagram. When I saw the size of this thing, I thought that it was an eyeshadow primer. <laughs> There's a picture of somebody on the back putting it on their face, so fairly certain that it's a face primer. It's because this is a sample size. Now it all makes sense. Cool. Must have been a free gift with purchase or something. Let's try it out. Oh, it smells really good. <laughs> it smells like candy. I know a lot of you are not a fan of scented products or are sensitive to scented products. This smells very, very sweet. It very much smells like candy. Oh, it feels nice. It feels good. Okay. All right, next. It definitely feels really hydrating and really moisturizing. It doesn't feel greasy at all. I like the way that feels. Oh, it smells good and feels good. All right. Wow. Awesome. Next up, I have the NYX Bear With Me Luminous Tinted Skin Serum. I have been on a tinted moisturizer skin tint type of kick for a long time now so this probably isn't a surprise to anybody i went with the shade universal light so we'll see how we did i also got the brush that they were selling alongside this skin tint so the packaging is very strange oh you just squeeze this little part you squeeze the little tippy on the end huh okay that was kind of fun. Oh, it feels very nice. It feels kind of a gel, jelly texture. Is this scented too? It kind of smells perfumey. I'm gonna put it directly on the brush. See how that goes. Try to do like half of my face. Can you tell the difference? I don't know if I can or not. Let's do like a cool TikTok person and put it directly on our face. I just don't think it's doing anything. Is it? Maybe, maybe if I don't use the brush? I just kind of feel like it's not doing anything. Can you see it? It just looks shinier on this side. I mean, I realize it's a skin tint. It's not going to be like a coverage type of moment, but I thought I'd be able to see it a little bit. I think it's just all going into the brush. think it looks like anything. Am I missing it? Am I missing something? Does it, can you tell that it's on there? I don't think I can tell it's on there. Can you tell that there's anything on there? I really can't. I, 
Hmm, okay, well, I really like the primer. I'm not sure that this is worth doing. I mean, it looks glowy and moisturizing. Okay, so I didn't get a concealer or powder or anything, so I'm gonna go do those things and then I'll be back with a new bronzer, a new blush, some other fun stuff. So let me go do some more stuff to my face and then I'll be back. Okay, all right. I have returned. I have done my eyebrows. I also added a little bit of tinted moisturizer and concealer. I just wasn't happy with just this. Maybe you can tell better watching this if you could see any difference on my face. This just didn't even look like it was there. I don't know. So I added some of my Urban Decay Hydromaniac, a little bit of the new Tarte Ultra Creamy Shape Tape. We have a new chapstick. I, did I just get two lip balms? Yes, that's, that's what I got. This is the chapstick Total Hydration with Sea Minerals and the color is called Sheer Glow. So let's see if it is sheer or glowy. Feels good. It kind of reminds me of, do you remember the pink lemonade lip smacker? Kind of reminds me of that. The smell, something about the smell, the texture, the combination of everything is just bringing me back to the pink lemonade days and I like it. I'm not mad about it at all. And it gave me just a little hint of color. So that's nice. Now let's move on to some cheek products. I do have a new bronzer. This is from Essence. It's the Sun Club Luminous Bronzing Powder. First of all, this just looks really pretty. I picked this up because I love the Essence blushes. Those are called The Blush from Essence. I have a good feeling about these bronzers because the formula on their blush is so good. I have a feeling that this bronzer is gonna be really nice so let's just stop talking about it and find out. I'm gonna go with a light hand first because I have no idea what to expect from this. It's not just me right? This looks really nice. I don't know why I'm so unsure of myself in this video because usually I can form my opinions pretty quickly. This looks really good, right? Doesn't that look nice? Doesn't really seem to be scented. It's blending really, really smoothly. It's going on nicely. It has a really nice warm undertone. This is really nice. Okay, all right, Essence. Very pretty. I like it, thank you very much. Now we have a new shade of the Milani Baked Blush. I love these. I know these are a cult favorite and that is for a reason because these blushes are so pretty. If you like a glowy blush, the Milani Baked Blushes are top notch. This one's called Petal Primavera. Look at how pretty that looks. Oh my gosh, that just looks lovely, okay. Let's try it on my cheeks and see if it actually does look lovely. I bet it does. Should have zoomed you in earlier. Sorry about that. It's kind of all over the place today. That looks beautiful. It looks beautiful. I mean, I knew it was going to. I knew it was going to be pretty. I love Milani blushes. Everybody loves them for a reason. Look. Just look at my cheeks. Look at how they glow. <sighs> Very happy with that. I do have a highlighter to try here. This is from Makeup Revolution. It's the Revolution Glow Splendor Ultra Glow Highlighter. How many times can they say glow on this packaging? Look, Revolution Glow, Ultra Glow, Glow. That's three glows. There's, se there's seven words. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and three of them are glow. We get it. <laughs> anyway, the shade is Soft Glam. Isn't that funny that the lip color was called Sheer Glow? Now this is Soft Glam. Look out, high-end brands. <laughs> Coming for your shade names. Okay, wow, this is really pretty packaging. It's all ripply molten metal look. That's very pretty. And I gotta say, this actually feels a lot less lightweight and cheapy than I was expecting, probably because there's a mirror in here. Pretty design on the inside as well. This looks pretty, a little soft champagne gold 
type of shade. Let's put it on my cheeks and see if it actually looks pretty on the skin. Uh, gorgeous, gorgeous. I already had a lot of cheek glow going on, but I'm never one to turn down a little extra glow on the cheeks. My desired look is casually sweaty. And if that is not your desired look, that is totally fine. Okay, that's honestly looks nice. However, I do think it's probably the least exciting of the three cheek powders. I mean, the packaging's really, really stunning, but when it comes to application, I think I was a little bit more impressed with the bronzer and the blush, just in general. I mean, there's nothing wrong with it. It's just not blow your mind like crazy good, you know what I mean? Now it's time for the eyeshadow palette that I picked up. I bought this from Ulta several weeks ago and it sold out on the Ulta site really quickly but I really wanted to talk about this Milani Gilded Getaway Palette. First of all it's just very cute and it's available on the Milani site now so I was kind of waiting for it to be available again before I showed it to you. So while I prime my lids I'll show you some swatches of this Milani Gilded Getaway Palette. And if I have any good palettes for comparison, I'll show you those as well. I ended up with more palette comparisons than I really expected. I just sort of go down this rabbit hole when I start comparing palettes. And I know that this is not a review video for this palette and yet a significant portion of our time is going to be consumed looking at all of these swatch comparisons, but since I've already done a look with this one and I just don't think that I'm going to get around to doing an entire dedicated review video on this Milani Gilded Getaway Palette, I wanted to find a way to still share these comparisons. Hopefully this is still helpful for you. And you know, comparisons are just kind of my jam. So nobody should really be surprised that I ended up with way more than I expected. But I promise that this one, the At Forest Sight palette is the last one. And then we're going to get into the tutorial that I started doing and then interrupted myself with these comparisons. So I've just been all over the place in this video. I guess everybody has those days sometimes, right? We're gonna get into my eye look now. I'm starting off by just dusting a little bit of this cream colored matte shade called Chillax all over my lids. I often like to set my eye base with a shade like this. Then I'm going in with this soft cool gray shade called A-Frame. This is out of my comfort zone, but I really was trying to avoid doing a very orange and gold look because that is more of my comfort zone. So instead, we're going to go with gray and green. I'm using this very adorably named green matte shade called Tremendous, and I'm super impressed with the application of this shade. When it comes to really, really dark mattes, especially colorful mattes, especially from the drugstore, they can get a little patchy and a little weird, but this one performed really nicely, and then I used a little bit of this taupey, brassy gold shade on the inner half of my lid, and then sort of blended the center with this shade called Succulent, which is one of my favorites in the palette. And then I added just a little bit of green to the lower lash line. Okay, so I decided to just speed up through that eye look because it was taking me forever to figure out what I wanted to do, and I didn't want you to sit here watching me try to figure out what to do with my life and or eyeshadow. Decided to go for the greens since those were the ones that kind of intimidated me the most. I wanted a kind of smoky woodsy look and I feel like that's what I came up with. So like I mentioned, I've had this Milani palette for a while so I can give you more of a mini review than I can for these other things that I'm just trying for the first time. Clearly the packaging is adorable. I really like the color scheme. It fits the theme, it's fun, it's not too crazy, and even as somebody who doesn't like weird shaped packaging, I'm actually not incredibly offended by this weird shaped packaging. 
because it still has a very slim profile. It's not egregiously crazy shaped. It still can easily be stored in with my little rectangular, like long rectangle palettes and it's just fine. So packaging wise, very cute. As far as the theme and the color story goes, I think it's really cute. It's fun. It's summery. As somebody who is a big fan of jewel tones mixed with neutrals, this is just really working for me color wise. I'd say the shimmers are incredible. Some of the mattes are easier to work with than others, but the shimmers are stunning. I love them. All in all, I'm impressed. I think this is really cute. If you're interested in this, I can say I do recommend it. Now, something that I haven't done in a while is try a new mascara. This Maybelline Sky High mascara was getting so much hype on social media. I knew that I wanted to try it for myself. I am a fan of drugstore mascaras. And while I have a handful of more expensive kind of high-end favorites. Sorry if it bugs you to watch people curl their lashes. I know sometimes I don't necessarily always like that, so sorry, I'll skip the other eye. Okay, I curled the other one off camera. Let's see if this Sky High mascara is worth the hype that it's been getting. Looks like a fairly minimal little plastic wand. I'm not going to show you the application part either. I don't like watching people put mascara on. Plus I can't talk while I do it. So I'm gonna, I'll put it on and then I'll show you. Okay, so here's a look. This is the eye that has mascara. This one doesn't. Oh, I did such dark eyeshadow. It's probably kind of hard to tell, huh? Seems nice. It's definitely lengthening, not tons of volume. Let's do the other eye and I'll have more time to formulate an opinion. Okay, so here's a close up of my finished eye look. Jury's still out on the mascara. It's not knocking my socks off, but I don't hate it. I think I just need to use it a little bit more to really be able to tell how I feel about it. So far, I would say it's probably not a contender with my top favorites, but nice nonetheless. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. I think overall, this was a fairly successful haul. Didn't love, not excited to use for a second time. That's these two, the Lottie London Sweet Lips, just kind of meh for me. And this NYX Bear With Me Skin Serum, it just like didn't do anything. It didn't look like anything at all. I think the primer was more impactful than this was. Maybe I'm totally missing that and when I go back and watch the footage, I will rescind those words. But for now, these were just the two things that really didn't work for me, not really excited about. Now for the middle of the road, things that worked fine, definitely weren't a flop, but also won't be standouts among the things that I already own. I'm not quite ready to make that call on this brush yet. I'll use it some more. I have been into applying my face products with a brush again. I think I go through cycles, brush, sponges, fingers application, you know, but I'm in a brush phase right now, so we'll see. But right now this one just feels kind of middle of the road for me. Same for the mascara, jury's kind of out on this one, but for now feels like a eh kind of product. And this highlighter, honestly, I think the outer packaging is more exciting to me than the actual highlighting powder itself. So that's not typically a good sign. At least it wasn't that expensive though. And lastly, I'm going to put this chapstick kind of on the high end of that middle category because I'm definitely still going to use it. I will probably easily use this up over the coming weeks. Not my favorite chapstick product that I've ever used. I love their lip oils, particularly their tinted lip oils, but this one, it worked nice, felt fine. I got a little lip smacker moment with it too, so that's nice. So this will be on the high end of the middle category. And things that I'm really excited about, definitely going to continue using, and just overall the best products for my haul. The surprise for me is this marshmallow primer. This looked great on my skin, it felt great on my skin, it smells really good. 
This is a fun product. I will easily use up this little sample size and I would definitely purchase the full size of this product. Not a strange twist of events here. This luminous bronzing powder and the new shade of the Milani Baked Blush. These look beautiful. They gave me that glowy, casually sweaty cheek that I'm always looking for. So I'm definitely excited about these. I'm probably just as likely to reach for this Essence bronzer as I am for the new Gucci bronzer that I just got in my Sephora sale haul. So that's really saying something. I'm also not a huge like, bronzer buff. I get more excited about blush than bronzer, but this is pretty darn good. And lastly, the eyeshadow palette is definitely in the top category for me. I already kind of told you why. It's pretty, it's fun, it's cute, performs well, the shimmers are amazing. So I think that was a pretty successful haul. Everything except for two products was either okay or really great, so I consider that a win. <laughs> I would love to hear what you think about the products I purchased. Are you interested in any of these? Have you tried them? Have you had a different experience? I always love to hear what you think about things too, so make sure you leave all your thoughts down in the comments below. And as always, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Or not. That's not how that works. Great, nailing it. How does this work? Okay, I'm back. Hold on, there's dog hair stuck to my face. Okay, I, f <laughs> hmm? now, <laughs> what was that? Okay, wow. <sighs> so happy. Charlotte Tilbury, is that you? Highlighter brush. Hello, highlighter brush. Donde esta? I'm just all over the place today. What's new? I like how I said that as if it's just today and not all the time. Okay. This one is from, huh? <laughs> I got really lost there for a second. What's new? I'm gonna brush phage, phage, <laughs> huh? The surprise, <laughs> Huh? What? No surprise at all. Filming yourself for a thumbnail is one of the weirdest things <laughs> as an adult. <laughs> I don't know, maybe not, but it feels pretty weird to me. Okay, now that the video's over, I have to tell you, I am so addicted to this Space Age Prophecy Highlighter from Kaleidos. I put it on top of every eye look ever. <laughs> if I'm filming something for a video, I'm like, okay, that's my eye look. And then when I'm done, I'm like, I'm just gonna add a little of this on top. And I do it for every eye look. Just wait until you see how pretty it looks with literally everything ever. Come on, come on, it's beautiful. It's my favorite thing. It's a little bit too extra as a highlighter, like a face highlighter for me, but I love this on top of every eye look. Like, look at this eye compared to this eye. Come on, you're gonna sit here and tell me you don't like to be extra shiny on your eyelid? That's just a lie, that's a straight up lie. I'm sure they'll be the one person that's like, I've only ever worn matte eyeshadow in my entire life. Like, well, then you should try this. I mean, wear whatever you want, but come on, that's stunning. Beautimous. Let's put a little bit on the inner corner too. Uh, I have a problem. Ugh, it looks so good. It just looks so good. What can I say? Um, I know this video was kind of random and all over the place, so thanks for hanging in there with me. Sometimes I like to do these little casual videos where we just hang out, do makeup, and I just kind of ramble about blush. Isn't that what this channel's really all about? Thanks for watching. Thanks for, thanks for putting up with my shenanigans. I just hope you know that I love your face and if you're having a hard time, I understand how that feels and it's totally valid to feel that way and I just love your face so much. Okay, I'm here for you. All right, I love you. Okay, bye.